Hey guys, Silence Sail here. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Masters with me. So this time round, our goal is to try and clear chapter 4 and 5. And of course, maybe some, you know, character developments here and there in between. But anyways, maybe let's just leave this part of the adventure just for chapter 4. Because, um, well, I don't want to put too much content into one video it might bore you guys to death but anyway guys let's dive right into it and of course let's see what all the new trainers we have obtained through the scout have to say um, about you know the world of uh, Pasio yeah so okay let's uh, check to see if anyone has stuff to give us aside from the daily logins Lots of non wonderful gems. So there's this thing going on around or among a lot of fans of the Pokemon Masters franchise. I, I wouldn't say franchise is, is the first game. So I mean the the game itself. Um, people seem to be upset that you know because the game got 10 million downloads worldwide, and well the game company Dana. Uh, and of course, the Pokemon Company, you know, didn't actually gift up anything to the players. You know, because usually they are, I mean, most of these people are so used to playing mobile games that when a, a game reaches a milestone, um, you know, they expect some kind of reward. Uh, personally, for myself, um, I, I am a bit um, curious as to why... Um, you know, the game developer and of course, Pokemon Company itself uh, has not issued out any rewards or presents uh, recently, you know, because of the milestone of 10 million downloads. But looking at the other stuff within the other Pokemon games, um, like recently with Sword and Shield's promotion as well, um, they have been ignoring the friend's request for a national DAX. It's not like they can't do it, it's just that maybe they don't want to do it because maybe they have some kind of future goals for the franchise uh, that requires Sword and Shield to end up being the way it is currently. And of course, yes, uh, for those who are video game competitors, especially for the Pokemon uh, Video Games World Championship, uh, you probably need a you know, full roster of your Pokedex you know, to have different kind of strategies and of course it'll be more fun I suppose to have that full arsenal of their Pokedex available to you to build up your teams and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, um, I, I can understand the frustration at the same time I can understand uh, why maybe Pokemon Company is holding back Dana from giving out free gifts um, if you guys know my channel, uh, I follow Uta My Cross since its launch up to now, which is almost two years plus. Um, Dana has actually been very generous with rewards and stuff when it comes to Uta My Cross. Maybe because the Macross franchise in Japan, uh, run by Kawamori san, um, uh, he has been guiding Dana as into what to do. Uh, so yeah, maybe because Dana is being held, by, held back by the Pokemon company when it comes to rewards and all that kind of stuff because maybe the Pokemon company is taking their mobile games too seriously when it comes to money making and they kind of upset the fans in a way but personally to me, I'm still enjoying the game we're loving all the characters that appear so far and of course the, the story some kind of a storyline they have included into this game so yeah so let's dive straight into the main story that's what we are here for we're clearing chapter 4 uh, hopefully by the end of this video and then of course moving along to chapter 5 with the release of the um, events that has been going on for Blue and of course Olivia so I, I would love to take a look at how Dana has you know, design the events for Pokemon Masters. So yeah, hunting for badges, let's go!
<laughs> Let's get going! The forest should be just up ahead of this road, and Erika should be somewhere in the forest. According to the rules, we need to collect 5 badges from PML leaders to compete in the tournament matches, right? Right! Uh, how are we supposed to get the badges though? From what I hear, we have to prove that we are worthy to each of the leaders. Okay, well, how do we do that? Standing around here isn't going to give us the answer to that. Come on, let's find Erika and ask her ourselves. That was a very short story. <laughs> uh, hopefully most of them are like that, so we can clear chapter 5 maybe in this video as well. Who knows? Uh, just being a bit ambitious. I am excited to see what kind of um, events there are, so yeah. Flannery's Pokemon uses fire type moves, so having her on your team will give you an advantage. Yeah, because Erika is actually a plant type gym leader. So, fire and electric, huh? Okay, so I, I guess I'll switch out Barry for myself. <laughs> and yeah, Grunt for Flannery. Oh, she's level 15. Alright. Let's go. Hi. Hey! Look me in the eyes. There! Alright, let's battle. Wait, did you just force me to fight you because I looked you in? Oh god. <laughs> oh, a bunch of ladies. Well, I'm a whole bunch of ladies too. <laughs> Alright, so all, all of them are weak against fire, okay. Yeah, pack. Um, maybe let's throw some rock type moves along. Let's not waste the moves available. Nice that Ember does use up only one bar of energy. Uh oh. Icon Rock is dying. Uh, here we go. Oh, I should have changed target. I didn't notice. Uh, that they're applying type instead. Aww, oh, that was such a waste. Oh well. Oh no! Surprisingly, Pikachu does a lot of damage to his plant type Pokemon. <laughs> It's like the resistance doesn't exist. <laughs> She's still so happy even though we beat the hell out of them. <laughs> Strong willed girls are cute, right? Hmm. I'll be the judge of whether you're beautiful or not. Wait. I didn't ask to be judged. <laughs> okay! Now, try to bedazzle me with a Pokemon battle. Alright, let's see. Okay, we can handle the flying type first. There we go, one hit KO. Oh, wait! Lycan Rock is permanently gone! Oh no! That's not good. Come on, one more time. There we go. So, being under level kind of is taking their toll. Strong and beautiful! <laughs> so beautiful that I was entranced by you! Wait, is the Pokemon game starting to uh, promote LGBT? <laughs> Thank you for showing me such a splendid bond! 
Right, we need to level up. Can't, can't get, like, uh, beat around by these story type trainers. Why is Brock looking so worried? Man, there sure are a lot of female trainers around here. Wait, I'm supposed to be happy about it? <laughs> I mean, you've been chasing girls throughout your entire life. I mean, well, the you in the anime, that is. <sighs> sure does make me nervous. <laughs> you weren't kidding. I wonder what they're all doing here. <laughs> well, a lot of girls really idolize Erika. Uh, maybe they all sort of gravitated here in hopes of getting close to her. <laughs> Although, this may be taking the admiration a little too far. I heard that some of the girls even act like her personal bodyguards. <laughs> you there! Especially you in the orange. <laughs> uh, is she talking to me? <laughs> Who else would I be talking to? You're here to challenge Lady Erika, aren't you? <laughs> you know Erika? Could you tell us where... <laughs> Excuse me? That's Lady Erika to you! How dare you address her so rudely? Where are your manners? <sighs> Ever since Lady Erika became a PML leader, curtains like you have been gathering around here in swarms. I won't allow such rude citizens to bother her! Go away! Or I'll be forced to drive you off myself! Ah, nice to get free stuff as usual. We need those gems for scouting. Alright, so electric and fire. Yeah, we're, we're good to go. Pikachu has potions. Hopefully, Olivia has revived. <laughs> I don't want to fight this battle without a third Pokemon. Oh man. It's not looking good. It's like 3 versus 6. Uh. Ooh. Why is that bird so tough? Oh god. Potions, potions. Oh no. Oh god. Oh, Pikachu! Oh, please don't die! I gotta skip the animation, because I'm a bit anxious. Okay, Pikachu needs to heal. Wait, are we done? Oh no, we still have one more. Go, turn the boat! Oh no, oh no, please don't die. Yay! Whew. That was nerve-wracking. Yeah, we need that level up badly. Alright, identity crisis averted. So I guess she thought maybe Brock was some kind of pervert. <laughs> I can't believe I lost to filth like you. This, this is mortifying. <sighs> Uh, Alright, uh, will you just calm down a second and hear us out? Misty and I are actually friends of Erika's. Yeah, you guys came from the same region, so... <laughs> <laughs> it's true! We need to collect badges in order to compete in the PML. And we heard that we could get one from Erika. <laughs> Wait, you guys are friends of Lady Erika's? Oh no, now I feel like a complete idiot. <laughs> well... You didn't really give us a chance to explain. Anyway, as long as we're all clear now, <sighs> I'm still not happy I lost to you at all. But I suppose I owe you an apology? <laughs> That's fine, don't worry about it. It's really no big deal. 
Lady Erica really does have the loveliest friends. Thank you. Forgive my behavior a moment ago. <laughs> if you'd like to speak with Lady Erica, she's just up ahead. A bit deeper into the forest. Great! Thanks for the info. Ready to go, everyone? Oi, ikimashouka! Alright, we're doing quite decently with the pacing. I've only been recording for 15 minutes and we are almost done with chapter 4. Uh, I just can't. It's driving me crazy! How is my Pokemon this cute? Okay, her, her, her facial design doesn't suit this personality. Oh god. Let's go, let's go. Ember away. Followed by a Thunder Shock. Then we go a special attack. One more Thunder Shock. Then we can do an Ember. Ember. Maybe we can Potion? Or maybe not. <laughs> Pokemon is so cute, it hurts! So pretty and lovely even when we lose. Um, does she have like an old man fetish? Because <laughs> it does look like an old man with a moustache. I don't know. You have your eyes closed, what are you looking at me for? Go away, I don't want to fight you. Uh. I wasn't sleeping. Let's battle! Go back to sleep. <laughs> I'd like to avoid fighting you if I could. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Oh wait, we ran out of the... Oh, we have to be careful with our resources and skills. Oh no. Turn the boat, hopefully that kills the Pidgey. Ember. One more time. Ow, oh, Lycan Rock. Oh no. Ember. Okay, Ember. Maybe. No. Ember. The Thunder Shock. I would rather the, the energy bar didn't take a short time to regenerate, I suppose. Or maybe my actions were too fast for it. <laughs> I, I was careless, but being half asleep isn't a good enough excuse. I mean, I wasn't asleep. I swear, it's not true! You're <laughs> sleeping on the job. We still haven't really fully utilized all the freebies we've been getting, uh, even from the the daily events that give out resources. Hey, it's Erica! Wait, is Erica sleeping? Can I poke her? I mean, poke her cheek. <laughs> Meet Erica. Erica, I mean. Meet Erica. Are, are you asleep? Oh dear, I, drift, I drifted off again, didn't I? Nah. It must have been the Valbrum spores. <laughs> Brock, is that you? What a pleasant surprise. And who might this be? Uh, uh, this is Silent CL. We, we formed a team together to compete in the PML. So this no ne? Really? Well, isn't that a delightful... I, I read it in a wrong manner, but okay, you get the drift. <laughs> I suppose you came for a bash then? <laughs> you guessed it. Uh, What exactly do we have to do to get our hands on one of these badges anyway? Hi. Well, first things first, we go head to head in a Pokemon battle. <laughs> Are you sure? Aren't you tired? <laughs> well, that's very kind of you. 
but I assure you, I'm quite prepared. I'm not going to go easy on you. Alright, here's the boss battle and hopefully this ends chapter 4. Lycan Rock hasn't been that useful, so because she is kind of uh, low under level, uh, the rest of them are still like under level as well. So let's go with Milk Tank for now, because we need someone who can withstand some hits at least. Alright, five trainers. XP. Um, let's go with the X attack. Uh, Alright, maybe let's get rid of the Rosarate first. Oh, back so fast. Alright, then. Bido? Wait, it's not a bit off, right? Because it's evolved. What is it called again? Alright. Let's kill the smaller ones first. There we go. Finishing move. Oh, that was half. Half HP. Okay. Let's keep going. Uh oh. Oh, wow. It's an AoE attack. Um. I was hoping like Milk Tang would eat the grass because she's a cow. I mean, she's the cow. So like, can you eat her attack and then like recover HP at the same time? <laughs> Ow! Oh, Pikachu went down. Oh no! There you go. Let's finish off. Nice. Right, although only one trainer gains the XP, but eventually all of them will be max level. So wasting experience is kind of a normal thing, I guess, in Pokemon Masters. Eventually. Oh wait, Erika joins the team. Holy crap! <laughs> okay. So if she joins us, who will give up the badges on her behalf? Hmm. Well, well. What a wonderful battle. You're like a hi what hardy root, spreading deep into the soil to connect your teammates to one another. But I also see a calm, quiet oak within you, standing tall, a kind heart that cares for those around you. I see all of these things when I look at you, so it's with great joy that I now present you with this. Hey, we got our first badge! Yeah. Looks like a medal. Only four more to go. We did it! We got our first badge. Oh, one more thing. Would it be alright if I asked you one small favor? What kind of favor are we look talking about? Well... I was wondering if it would be alright if I join your team. Huh? What? <laughs> you are going to bloom into a beautiful flower as this competition goes on. I'd love to be there to see it firsthand. Mm. Well, that's pretty flattering and all, but wouldn't it be weird for a PML leader to join a team? Hi. Not at all. I've been told I'm free to participate in any way I like. In fact, I believe there are a fair number of other PML leaders in charge of the same badge that I've just given you. Hmm. Huh, I see. Guess I have no objection. Then, uh, what do you think? Uh, let's, see. <laughs> let's see what sort of flower we bloom into together. <laughs> okay, that sounds more fun. Of course, I look forward to being there when it happens. Right, time to hunt for the next batch then. 
Uh, I think I might actually know another one of the PML leaders. She's from the Unova region, like me. A gym leader who uses flying type Pokemon. Oh. Hey, there we go. So, chapter 4 is done. We got Erika to join our team. So, Erika's only like rarity 3. Hopefully, we can actually power up to the rarity 4 or 5. Hey, Silent CL. Just hoping I'll run into you. <laughs> I've made leaps and bounds in my research on sync pairs lately. If my new hypo hypothesis is correct, we should be able to grow even stronger now. I believe you and your Pokemon can unleash an even greater power together. Why don't we meet up here? I'd love to test out my theory. Wait, I'm already here talking to you. Which past your limits? Hmm. You can access this area info in the Special Training Battle Techniques subsection of the training area. Complete this area to make sync pair level caps unlockable. Oh, that's what we really want actually. Okay, so anyone else in the lobby giving me stuff? Uh, apparently not. So let's collect all the daily goodies. Right, and explore. Training area. So, this one. Reach past your limits. Okay. Hopefully I don't get bullied by the PC. <laughs> Welcome. <Mono. laughs> I have no idea how I read that, but I went with an Indian accent. Oh god. Uh, show us what you're capable of. Prove your strength against this tough young man. I will go easy on you. Uh, please don't. I mean, uh, yes please. Oh god, he's only one Pokemon. And I'm using three. I have a bad feeling that I might lose. Oh wow. Okay, we seem to be doing good. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my god, milk tank. What? Why is milk tank not activated? Strange. Oh. Hmm. I wonder why milk tank's finisher wasn't lit up, even though Pikachu's and Torco's was. Whoa! You guys are seriously strong. Fantastic! You've truly proven your strength today, and my hypothesis as well. <laughs> Congratulations! May you and your Pokemon continue to grow and lock even greater potential as a sync pair. What is this? You now have access to the unlock level cap menu. Unlock a sync pair's level cap means that they can raise their level even higher and grow even. Yes, that's what we want! Visit the training area to collect the special items required for unlocking level caps on your sync pair. Nice! Hey, free gems! Alright! So, where is that course? Support course? Level up course? Is it under level up? Nope. Uh, where is it? Huh. Okay. Maybe it's under a different menu. Is it under team? Yeah, it is. Unlock level cap. <laughs> okay, so... We should unlock... Uh, I guess Rosa? Okay, so... Oh, this is where the cans come in. Okay, we've got 188 in stock. So... Level cap 55. Nice. So if we move on to the next one, how much... Ooh. We could do this now, but I think let's 
progress bit by bit. So I'm going to do the most used trainers I suppose that I have. Uh, we've got Barry. Barry uses the red pants. Uh, and of course myself. I use the red cans as well. Alright, so I guess just three us, three of us for now, because I still got a whole ton of trainers to actually train. Uh, ever since that gacha fool from the last episode. Hmm. Okay, so we still got a bit of time, so let's do some sync pair stories. Let's start with Olivia. Did I do something to make you angry, like a rock? If I gave a bad command, I'm sorry. The silence here arrived in the village and looked for the source of the voice. She noticed a lichen rock turning its back to Olivia as Olivia apologized to it. <laughs> oh, hey there! Well, you saw a bit of an embarrassing scene, didn't you? Did something happened? We finished battling a trainer and now Lycanroc doesn't want to look at me. I don't have a clue, did I do something bad? Hmm? No, and Lycanroc is my best partner. I always make sure she's in tip-top shape, so she can battle whenever, and I make sure to give careful instructions during battle. Wait, it's a her? <laughs> <laughs> I go to sleep holding her tight every night. Just like I would with a stuffle plushie. <laughs> I thought I treated her well, so I don't know what could have brought this on. You sleep with Lycan Rock? I treat her like my own child. She's my pride and joy and can do no wrong. But to be honest, I think she's just as cute ignoring me like this too. Of course, I wouldn't like it if she continued to ignore me. Maybe she wants some alone time? Huh? But we've always been together. And he will be from now on too. Right, like a rock. <sighs> no, maybe you're right. Maybe she needs her alone time because we've spent so much time together. Maybe that's what like a rock's been thinking. <sighs> Especially since we've been a sing pair here on Pasio. Lycan Rock usually attacks strong opponents, throwing caution to the wind. Isn't that adorable? Yes. But because she's like that, maybe she hasn't liked the cautious instructions I've been giving? It's true that caring for each other is important in any trusting relationship, but maybe I should have trusted her more, even if doing so can be a bit reckless. <laughs> that, in and it of itself, might be another form of trust after all. <laughs> it looks like you're in a better mood. <laughs> Thanks. Taught me that there is more than one way for us to trust one another. Trust between friends, partners, rivals, family, <laughs> people and Pokemon are really interesting, aren't they? This is why I can never get enough of this. I can rock. Let's use our time on Pasio to build the perfect relationship to make us even stronger. I trust you in my life. You're my precious partner after all. I still can't believe that's a she. <laughs> I mean, the nightmare form kind, uh, kind of looks like a male kind of evolution. I don't know. It might be a sexist thinking, but uh, but it's just a stereotypical kind of thought, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so we're done with Olivia. Let's see. Grunt. Alright. Maybe after this we can end the episode here. Silence here. Heard Grunt and his Amaura? Did I pronounce that right? Oh, I've not said this Pokemon name at all before, so <laughs> just swing it here. Uh, Amarua were heading up to the mountains, so she decided to head that way as well. Upon arriving, she spotted the pair of them gazing up at some tall cliffs. 
Well now, look who we have here. What brings you up here to the mountains today? Um, uh, curious what you're doing? Oh, did you follow me up here? <laughs> oh god, I've become a stalker. <laughs> well, sorry to disappoint you, but we just came to scope out the area today in preparation for the real climb. We're practicing so that one day uh, Amarura and I conquer this mountain together. It's dangerous. Of course it is. That's why we make sure we take every safety precaution possible. Don't worry. We'll still be extremely cautious. After all, mountain climbing is never 100% safe, no matter how well prepared you are. I came to compete in the PML in order to reach greater heights as a trainer. But that's not the only reason I decided to come here and pass you. This is an artificial island. That means someone had to create all of this beautiful, majestic nature. I knew that climbing the mountains here would be unlike anything I've ever done before. <laughs> ah, I'm getting excited just thinking about it. I can't wait to start climbing. Is there something at the top? No, nothing special. Just a wide open view of the landscape below. Then why climb up there? Well, when I see a wall in front of me, I've just got to climb it. Pokemon battling and rock climbing are really different, but they have a lot in common too. They can both feel like a wall in front of you, you just have to climb over that wall and keep aiming higher and higher. <laughs> Wouldn't you agree? I feel like the whole process is really important. Yeah, that's awesome! When it comes to Pokemon battling, you and I are a lot like. The look of enjoyment on our faces is as plain as day, even when we're up against a tough opponent. Oh! Did you hear Ama Ura? <laughs> I'm still having a hard time pronouncing that Pokemon's name. <laughs> Ama Ura, okay. Uh, made that sound just now. Maybe we'll get to see it tonight. Legends say that the cry of an Amaura is a sign that um, an or eh, <laughs> is a sign that an aurora will appear in the sky. Holy crap! It's like a tongue twister. I've never actually seen one myself though. <laughs> Wouldn't it be amazing if Amaura and I climbed to the top of this treacherous mountain to witness that beautiful aurora tonight? <laughs> Knowing there may be a special reward like that at the top makes me want to go for it even more. What do you think, Amaura? <laughs> I don't know if she understands me or not. I, I think whether we decide to go up will depend on how Amaura feels. Anyway, rock climbing is my own challenge to myself, but Pokemon battling can be something we strive to conquer together. Overcoming a tough battle is like climbing a giant wall. There's beauty on the other side that you won't find anywhere else. <laughs> That's how I like to look at it, anyway. Very optimistic! Alright! So, we've done two character developments at the same time as Chapter 4. Uh, hopefully by the next episode, um, we'll take a look at a glimpse of the event that's currently going on for Blue and uh, Olivia. I don't know whether Blue's event will still be on, but anyways, we need to take a look at how the events are being run for Pokemon Masters before I can decide on how I should provide tips and tricks for you guys if needed. <laughs> anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Pokemon Masters with me. Uh, hopefully you guys don't cringe too badly with all my uh, reading. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's bad. I, I, I myself cringe at my own reading sometimes, but anyway guys, I, I'm trying my best. Uh, slowly improving at times, hopefully. Uh, anyway guys, let me know what you guys think of the episode down below as usual in the comments. And of course, hit the like button if you appreciate the content. And of course, let me know if you guys want more of Pokemon Masters. And I'll see you guys in the next adventure of Pokemon Masters. Until then, Bye!